Hello and welcome to another video with Gamers Class. This is Shizzy Dora and this video is going to be all about the new bounty rune changes and the entire new rune, which is Water Rune. If you like this type of content, go to GamersClass.com for just $9.99 a month, watch masterclasses with pro players, join exclusive live sessions and get 24-7 access to coaches and other high MMR players. Get full control of your rank games and start owning with our Supreme Dota 2 membership. The bounty runes spawn at the river uh, right here uh, on the rune locations uh, when the creeps spawn. And then after that, they spawn respectively on Dire and Radiant Triangle side right here and right here at minute three. Uh, these bounties give m lesser gold now compared to the previous ones. And you can also bottle them, but you only get two sips if you bottle them. As for the water rune, they spawn only two times in the entire game, and that is on the two minute mark and the four minute mark. They will they will give you 100 health and 80 mana instantly when used. So bottling this up is quite nice. You can actually dive into towers. You can dodge ganks. It's just like a fairy fire, but only better because it gives you mana and refills your bottle. Now, here are some of the hypothetical plays that I want to talk about. Uh, about this rune and the bounty rune changes what you can do hypothetically i don't really have any replays for it right now because the patch is just so early but i want to talk about these plays so you guys can get an advantage as fast as possible even before other people notice right so uh it's quite basic and i think it is for mid laners and supports to make this play i've been doing it in my pubs you, you guys should try it out as well so what you can do as a plus five is when the three minute mark is about to happen you can just straight up walk to this bounty this will disrupt the enemy mid laners gameplay as you walk up here you can also try to mess with the water rune at the four minute mark uh as a plus four you can do the same thing you can walk to like here and also go for the water rune and ask your mid laner to go for the other water rune now these water runes they are quite game changing. They're just like power runes, but less effective because they just give mana and HP. But if you can take this water rune away from the enemy as a support or even as a mid laner, it could be drastic. It could be a game changer. Um, I've done it in my pubs and it does uh, change a lot of things. If you look at it right now, if you look at the Ember and the Lesh. They're both pretty much equal, right? Because this guy's got a... Uh, water and this guy's got a water as well both are pretty much the same level both are same hp almost and it's not that big of a difference but let's say let's say the lion moved mid and he got the water ember would be far ahead because he has more region on him and he can actually just run at the lesh and probably have a better laning stage so uh that's that's a play that you can actually make hypothetically uh, in any game of Dora to get an advantage. And yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I hope you've learned this play. And until then, I will be seeing you in the next videos. Shizzy Dora signing out.